Are you Gideon? I am in prayer at the moment. Who are you? I asked you first. Such ill manners. But what else could I expect of a demon? <laughs> Stop right there! <gasps> Another accurate augury. An ambush. Is this more of your Reaper's curse? Or do you think the old lady sold us out? You figured it out, didn't you? That he's running the Nectar operation. Indeed. I followed up on each of the incidents you caused, and the trail led me all the way to the High Priest Gideon. Yet you still defend him? The punishment he deserves is for the Abbey to administer. Punishment? How dare you! Do you realize how much I've done for the good of the Abbey? Make her nice and desperate, Velvet! I just know the result will be something wonderful! <laughs> Stay out of this, witch! Stand aside! I'll take care of this right here, right now! I cannot! The laws of the Abbey are clear! Reinforcements. They have the advantage at range. Crush her head. Bienfu, did you think you could run from your true mistress? M -m Miss Makilu? I'm putting you back where you belong. You, descendant of the Seventh Grove, see our vows renewed. May our prayers of discontent vanish infinitesimal into the void. Remember this true name I bestow unto you, Fushi Cass! Yeah! <laughs> oh, now it is on! That power! Are you an exorcist? Wrong! I am a witch! For whom the universe is a plaything, and the souls of men but motes. Oh, but if it's a name you need, call me Miss Magilu! A human consorting with demons? Have you no shame, girl? <laughs> Let's go! 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 Let's go!
stand aside. Never! Wait! All I did, I did for the sake of the Abbey. We needed money to build the temple. That's why I sold the nectar. I know I was wrong to produce so much of it, but, but I was only trying to help the people as best I could. Let's talk this over. Who ordered you here? Was it the sick? Was it the doctors? Or... No. Was it Artorius? I knew it! Damn his eyes! So he wants to wipe me out of existence, does he? That bastard! After all the work I did for him! No! Velvet! That false savior will pay! You can't die now! You think you could read books when you're dead? Oh. Don't you die either, Velvet! Christy's getting away. He won't. I'll hunt him down. So, not even the High Priest is immune to demon blight. I guess he hit his limit. <laughs> what was that? What? What is that? The demon returned to human form? And what is that beast? There's a barrier here. So what? The Abbey is holding this thing captive? This barrier... I know it well. It seems our errand has met with success. At least technically speaking. Right. Let's get out of here. What did you do to the High Priest? What is this demon?! I don't know, and I don't care. Do not mock me! You are the mockery. What do you hope to do to me without your exorcist powers? That was some night, though. Stay sharp. Dawn hasn't come yet. Stealing a Moloch from an exorcist. How did you pull that one off, Mogilu? The info was my Moloch to begin with. Then he betrayed me and ran away from his rightful home. 
Miss Mogulu treats Malakim so bad, bad, bad. I couldn't take it anymore. After a little while, I ran into Madame Eleanor. She was so much nicer to me. I see, I see. Now, just how am I going to punish you for that little slander on my character? <laughs> the bad, bad days are here again! You're an exorcist, then. Eh, I'm a witch, silly. Bienfu here is the catalyst thingy for my magic. But only exorcists can form a pact with Malakim. <laughs> oh, yeah? Says who? Someone who likes making dumb rules? <laughs> Enough, Velvet. Questioning her is a good way to go mad. You did the job well, it seems. You heard quickly. That's about all I'm good for. And with these old ears, sometimes it's hard to hear at all. And did you learn anything about the key for passing through the barrier? Yes. Only the high-ranking exorcist can enter through the barrier protecting Artorius and his temple. Exorcists are considered high-ranking if they are accompanied by at least four greater Malakim. Hmm. So if we had four powerful Malakim with us, we could slip through. But Malakim outside the Abbey's control are rare. They thought this through. Hmm. Well, I may not look it, but I'm a greater Moloch. Aizen, Lafiset, and Bienfu. So we just need one more. We'll have to steal it then. So I have to come too? Sounds like a pain. Then stay. We don't need you. We'll keep Bienfu though. You have no courtesy. How about it would be an honor, Madame Mogilu? More like that. Would you come if we asked? To attack the shepherd? <laughs> Depends on how you ask. A battle between shepherd and demon sounds like a real fine spectacle. I'm afraid this is just how Miss Mogilu is. Miss Mogilu. Um, I... I would like it if if you came with us. Pl please. Luffy said. Well, what choice does that leave me? I suppose I could tag along a little while longer. You can count on me. Melchior will be there. You and I still share the same goal. Our business is done. You can have this back. Keep it, dear. As long as you have that, we will count you as an ally worthy of aid. Allies of the ones trying to kill the Savior? You might regret that. <laughs> Such a considerate young lady. Listen, dear, all of us live on the fringes of their so-called reason, do we not? Don't say I didn't warn you. Velvet, wait. My, my. I can't blame him. It's been a long night. Some aid for your allies? Of course. Right away. You're finally up. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Getting sleepy or hungry is a natural part of life. I won't eat you. What about your wounds? Feeling pain? 
That's also natural, right? I'm fine. It was nothing. You're really tough, aren't you, Velvet? You have to be tough, if what you seek is revenge. Revenge? We're leaving. Rokuro and the others are waiting at the plaza. morning, especially after a long night of meting punishment on my heartless betrayer. The end! My poor battered body! You better not kill our key. You're one to talk. Better not eat the boy. He's your precious key now. I know. Oh? You're facing the Shepherd and an Empyrean. Old Shepsy's one thing, but Empyreans are, you know, just gods who created the world. Do you think you can win just by smacking it around a bit? That's no Empyrean. It's a phony. Artorius is just using a legend to control the people. Wouldn't a true god be able to do something about the demon blight? <sighs> you don't believe in Enominat? I believe there exists something people call Enominat. But it's just a Moloch that used a special art to bring the other Molochim into our world. You sound confident. I witnessed it three years ago. Well, if it's not actually a god we're against, we just might stand a chance. Of course we do. And ultimately, our target is Artorius. I don't care about anything else. Revenge against Artorius. For her brother. Alright, Lafayette. Which way is the Empyrean's throne? Um, it was north of Logris, in the mountains up the Danan Highway. If exorcists are keeping up their inspections, they might provide us a chance to steal another Moloch. I sent my men a Sylphjay with orders to scout out the inspectors. With their information, we'll be able to plan the attack. Hmm. We can meet up at Port Zexen. That's the plan. Those Sylphjays are handy little birds, aren't they? Not only will they always find their destination, they can make for emergency rations in a pinch. I hear grilled Sylphjay goes rather well with a nice class of the hard stuff. It's because of the work those birds do for us that we're able to stay one step ahead of the Abbey. Those birds are indispensable to us pirates, and we consider them a part of our crew. Don't even joke about eating them. <laughs> all right, all right. Still, I wonder how they actually do their thing. I know that carrier pigeons rely on their homing instincts, but sylph jays can locate a person wherever they are, right? They're really smart birds. I read in a book that rather than memorizing locations, they can pick up on people's wavelengths. When you send out a sylph jay, the bird can sense the change in your thoughts and will seek out the recipient you have in mind. I hardly ever see them in the wild. Are they a kind of Moloch or something? No, they're not Molochim. They're just an incredibly rare species native to an island in the north. It's a funny story. A chance storm sent us docking at that island, and a mother sylph jay got blown onto our ship, eggs, nest, and all. Sadly, the mother bird died almost immediately. But Benwick stepped in and kept her eggs safe and warm. So that's why they're so attached to him. Usually, they're really hard to train as messenger birds, too. That's Benwick for you. He's always had a knack for things that would give other people trouble. Maybe when they hatched, they took one look at his wild hair and mistook him for their mother. You know what? They are comfortable enough with him to use his head for their nest. 
So you might have a point. Now that you mention it, he did ask me not to hit him on the head, because one of the Sylph Jays just laid her eggs. Well, if more birds are on the way, we could just eat one to see how it tastes. No! Don't even think about it! <laughs> it was worth a try.